snappy pit stop. There's Jeff Gordon's fiance looking on. He met her in victory lane. I think he engaged <laughs> engagement. At least he proposed in victory lane. So in that shakeout, Gordon takes first. Wallace hosts second. Bodine is third. Dale Jarrett fourth. Ricky Rudd falls to six. is just in front of Harry Gann. Jeff Gordon seeking his first Winston Cup victory. Set on the pole. It's been a long time since anyone has set on the pole and won the 600. 1976, the great David Pearson. Jeff Gordon, Pittsburgh, Indiana. Now Jeff's then stretched it from uh, two seconds to three point two right now, so he's really just outrunning the two car. Getting it on out there, getting it done right now. Five laps to go, and they come by this time. As Jeff Gordon, at 22 years of age, this sensational driver did so well here a year ago, had a brilliant run in this race, is coming back and doing the only thing he can do, and that's improve on one year ago when he placed second in the event. Five to go. Putting a lap on Harry Gant, seventh place competitor. Jeff Gordon at 21, the youngest driver to win a 125 mile qualifier at Daytona. And the first rookie to win one of those 125 since Johnny Rutherford in 1963. Here tonight at Charlotte, North Carolina. Make no mistake about it. This is winding down. Everybody's hanging on now trying to keep what they've got. Rusty Wallace stays in that second spot. Unless fate. You know, Rusty, Rusty, a different hand. Yeah, you know, uh, will because Rusty's fading. He's uh, he's getting beat like uh, you know 15 or 21 hundreds a lap right now. I think he's just sort of settled in. Wallace staying second, Bodine in third. Around and hard and away from him. 600 wins in 15 years of racing, and he's 22. Two to go. Two laps remaining. Youngest winners over the years, Donnie Thomas at 20. Talk about the greats. Fireball Roberts won his first race in 19, and when he was 21. It was 30 years ago that Fireball lost his life in this race this weekend. Bobby Hillen was 22. Man, I had to be in there somewhere when oh. I was my first one. <laughs> they don't remember back that yeah. far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. White flag. White flag. One to go. Coming around the Daytona 500 winner, Sterling Marlin. Looking up Jimmy Spencer just in front of him. Boy, this is a moment. Out on long. Set on the pole at 181.439. He will become only the fifth driver in 35 years to win the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte, North Carolina from the pole. Checkers are out, and they are down. And it is Jeff Gordon victorious this evening on this Memorial Weekend at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Yeah, I call it another one. <laughs> Not you're in good company. They, no, they did. They did the right thing. Uh, I wouldn't have took a chance on it, but they did. Earnhardt up to yeah. congratulate him. They shaking his fist at him. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Great to hard. Tell you, you did a good job, and well, Gordon I think, did it splendidly. I, I think everybody knew that it, he was going to win. Just didn't know when. Well, it's happened here. In this major race of the season, the Coca-Cola 600 belongs to Pittsburgh, Indiana's Jeff Gordon with a sensational run in the 35th annual Coca-Cola 600.